Hi, I'm Annabelle Meisel for Barnet TV. We're here today at Skewed Kitchen to meet Executive Chef Maz Demir, who recently won Best Chef at the British Kebab Awards 2017. Hi, I'm here with Maz, the executive chef of Skewed in Barnet. So tell me, where did your passion for food come from? Passion for food? Um, at the age of probably, I would say, 14, 15, after school, my parents used to own a, like a greasy spoon cafe. So I would often, after school and on the weekends, I would go and help them out. So that's how I sort of went into the in industry. And then the sort of the more time I sort of spent at work, uh, and the more things, uh, the more involved I got in the kitchen, the more I started. Uh, you know, I'm I'm really enjoying this. I'm really liking this, and and it just helped me to sort of, you know, find out, you know, sort of, uh, you know, about my my passion. So obviously, after you left school, um, so how did you then go to becoming a restaurateur? So uh, basically, so I took over from my my dad, literally my dad and my mum, because my mum used to uh, work as well. So that's how I sort of got into it, and I, I started to run it myself my own way if you'd like and um, that's how I sort of got into it and then I uh, sold the business opened a different one and then I went and started training in different uh, different cuisines different restaurants what can people expect when they come into skewed um, skewed it's not I mean skewed it's not just about the food it's not just about the service it, it's 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 a it's an uh, it's like an evening out it's an experience because people come and spend two to three hours here so you have to keep them entertained at the same time so you need that quality of food there definitely but also the service and the atmosphere that's very very important for us because it has become a destination now so people do travel from all over to to, to come and dine here so uh, there's a lot of sort of factors that you need to take into account um, uh, you know uh, for your guests so yes, open theatre, uh, cooking, uh, cocktails, the, the bread oven, it's all exposed so people actually see a, a lot of, the, uh, a lot of the, the action. So tell us, how did you win Chef of the Year at the British Kebab Awards 2017? Okay, uh, I think how, uh, how it works is the actual, the, the judges, uh, secretly dine in different restaurants um, and uh, and then obviously the ones they're impressed with they actually nominate so that's how it, it, it sort of works so uh, secret diners they come in and if you're good enough you get nominated how did you celebrate after you won the awards to be honest um, we didn't really have much time to celebrate as, as soon as the awards were over we, uh, I had to cook for Chris Evans on BBC Radio 2 the next morning, so literally 4 o'clock in the morning I had to uh, wake up and go, uh, start the prep and uh, take it to the West End. And uh, I had to send uh, my kebabs over to Chris Evans on BBC Radio 2, which uh, I joined uh, at 8.30 in the morning So in, uh, with this show. And then I had to cook, and in the afternoon I had to cook for the House of Parliament. Wow. So it was it was a very very sort of a busy next day, if you'd like. So we didn't really have a lot of time to celebrate, but it was it was it was all an experience, definitely. And what did Chris Evans say about your kebabs? Oh yeah, it, he, he he loved it. He thought he you know it was the best that he's ever tasted, definitely. <laughs> so what's next for you then? Um, obviously, there's so much you can do as an individual. So it, it is all about the team. So you know, I, I'd like to congratulate the whole of my team because they. they they deserve the award as much as I do. I truly believe that I've got an excellent, excellent team, and uh, we're recruiting new people at the same time. And uh, it's there's like I said, as an individual, there's so much you can do. It's all about the team. It's all about training the chefs and getting them to sort of look uh, at the same angle as you do to 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 the style that we do here. So it's not easy, but you've got young, young, you know, enthusiastic chefs, and like I said, I, I want them to see it as a career rather than a job. So, and uh, you know, it, it does keep them on their toes and they, they, they love it they, they really enjoy it and at the same time we get involved with uh, a lot of charity events like we were recently involved with for, uh, for the Syria uh, chari uh, charity event which was really really good we raised quite a bit of money for them so it's just um, you know it's, it's the sort of more time you spend the more involved you get with society at the same time and different charities as well yeah
Thank you so much for taking your time to talk to us today and showing us around your beautiful restaurant. And I look forward to trying your kebab. Thank you. Do you know what you think? I will. Thank you.